Welcome back. What are you afraid of? Well, according to a Lance Life survey, 61% of Americans admit they're more afraid of outliving their money than they are of dying. Our great friend of the show, JB Bryant, is here with uh, four suggestions to how to kind of get around all of that. I, I, you know, I understand this completely. I mean, you know, nobody gets out alive. We all know it's going to happen, right? Right. So I guess but, they, they're afraid of being here broken, miserable, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Like, yeah. To, <laughs> it's like, I know I'm going away. Yeah, no, you, nobody well, got to tell It is I'm, amazing, though. Yeah. Like over 60% of the people surveyed said, I do not want to live without having well, enough money. I feel that way. Oh, wow. I mean, and I guess we all do to yeah. some degree, but compared to death, when it was compared to death and they said, yeah, I'd rather die than have not have enough money to live off of. Okay. That really means that this discussion is important to a lot of people at home. So do something about it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. To plan, yeah. uh, to take control of your money. And, and there are some major ways that you could control your spending of, of your retirement monies. So if you have a lump sum of money, that's really what we're thinking about here. Because, of course, if they're retired, their Social Security, God forbid, is not going to run out. <laughs> no. Better as, not. Look, as of today's <laughs> info, right? No, no, no. Yeah, but, okay. there, but there are, I would, I would definitely say that people at home do need to take Social Security seriously, that it, we may a need to consider depending on it a lot less for our young folk that are working oh, and yeah. starting to right. work now. Yeah. But for those of you who are getting Social Security, think about your other monies that are supplementing your Social Security so and you your pension. So if you put money in a 401k. That's right. All of that. And that's the lump you're talking about? That's the lump sum. Okay. The money that's supplementing you, the money that will help you maintain your lifestyle. Consider the required minimum distribution as a rule of thumb of how you will spend your money. The RMD, it's called. That is a IRS table that will tell you, based on your age and the balance of money that you had at the end of the previous year, this is the payment that you should be taking out. And each year you would recalculate how much, what is the required or what so is a so good percentage you look at that, that I should be the spending. government gives you and you say, what's the minimum I can take? And then That's figure right. out how to live on that. And it's just, you. it is used on your IRA because now at 72, you must take a required minimum distribution from your IRAs and 401ks. So that, um, that, is, can, that can be used for your other money as well, just as a form of discipline for yourself. All right, what is so the that's fixed an percentage idea. each year? What is that? You could also just create a fixed percentage for yourself. And one major rule of thumb is 4%. And you've probably heard that before, to take out about 4% of your um, extra money each year so that you don't run out of money. But you could still run out of money depending on how long you live, how well your money and You don't know what kind of medical emergency is going to come up. That, and, that's and right. That. There's yeah. no guarantee on that or in the required minimum distribution. So the key there is that you must be an active manager of your money. So if you don't use the RMD and you don't use the fixed rate, you could use a flexible rate. Right. You could say, I'm going to spend somewhere between, say, 2.5% and 5% would be the maximum that I would spend. And when you're flexible, you're saying, if the market doesn't do well, I'm willing to reduce my withdrawals. And how hard is that to do, to, to, to draw it back down, to say, uh, now I want to I was doing five, and now I want to do two and a half. Good point, because some people cannot lower it because they are depending on it to maintain sure. their bills. Sure. So that's more of a reason that the, the way you live is based a lot on the bills that you accumulate during retirement. And too often, family members may think that your retirement means you won the lottery kind of feeling because you have this <laughs> access to additional dollars or you have this guaranteed income. You need to communicate to them that I truly have to be more disciplined than you've ever been in your life. All right, 10 mm -hmm. seconds, compartmentalize. And, how, how do we do that? And that's when you have different lumps of money. You may have money here for withdrawal for your income yeah. and then money that you're putting away for just long term because you want to outpace inflation. And then money you may have for fun or for the grandkids 
kids and you're basically dr um, breaking your money apart and saying this lump sum this, is this, 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 this. That's Thank right. You, JB. Always great. <laughs> JB you. Bryant offers free weekly money seminars and webinars every Wednesday and Sunday. You'll find a link for more information. WTVR.com slash VTM. Thank you.